Hello, and welcome to the kitchen again, because the table is a mess and the sofa is a mess and it's raining, so I can't go and do an opening uh, stupid things in weird places, which is what I was going to do today on my day off. So we're in the kitchen because I can make it clean. And now that I've put all these things in the background, we can tag these as well so we get more YouTube views. Mmm. Advertising. This has absolutely nothing to do with advertising, does it? Can you tell this is always entirely and utterly completely unscripted? Anyway, yeah, we're in the kitchen. I was thinking about this. I think because um, we're doing another charity shop and car boot sale. This is what I found. This is what for sale. There's a stain over there. There's a big stain right there. Um, and I figured that maybe we should start doing these in here. So, you know, upon seeing what it is and then do the unboxings of cars in the main room. Um, because I know that's my most popular content. The blind unboxing of cars is my most popular content on my channel. And I think it's what most of you tune in for. But uh, why you tune in in the first place, I don't really know. Hello, Mulan. I just watched that movie. It was surprisingly good. And I'm also aware that you've asked to see the shelf of buses. And because I'm so fantastic, we're actually going to look at some cheese instead. Has that sunk in yet? Possibly the, the worst cheese ever. Chip shop curry. Cheddar cheese with chip shop curry. Why does this exist? I don't know. I, I, I kind of figured it would be worth eating, especially with some cheddar cheese biscuit with a hint of pickle. What a fantastic way before we start looking at toy cars, don't you think? Mmm. Yes. I'm, uh, apparently I'm moving into the market of torturing yourself for the entertainment of your YouTube viewers. Whether you find it entertaining me waiting this, what will inevitably be god-awful bloody cheese. I don't know. I mean, uh, well, it definitely smells of chip shop curry. Um, mm, yeah. mm, oh dear. Oh dear, that was a mistake. And eating it with these is also going to be a mistake because yeah, they smell like cheese biscuits. Um, I have no intentions of eating any more of this cheese once I'm finished with this. So, uh, you know, I'm sure you came here to watch me unbox toy cars and stuff and instead you get to listen to me eat cheese. Oh, oh god. Oh, 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 oh god. I'm glad we did this in the kitchen, I can get some water. Oh dear, that's vile. Wow. Mm. That's bloody, that's absolutely vile. Like, I was expecting it to be bad, but that's just. Awful, awful, and now you had to listen to me chew food and dispose of it, and ugh. Let's, oh God, that's gonna be, ugh. I made many mistakes in my life. This is one of them. Let's move on to what we're doing. We've got a load of toy cars that I brought at car boot sales and charity shops, and it is all literally toy cars this time. There's no kind of um, uh, plush dragons or anything else along those lines, it is, oh, Oh, it's stuck in my teeth. Oh, there's no toy dragons. There's no nothing. It's all toy cars. So if you're into toy cars, this is the stuff for you. But let's crack straight on with this. I lied. It's not a toy car. It contains toy cars. It belonged to... Wartek? He was a nice Polish kid. He was like three years old. This brought at a car boot sale. And it has, of course, got toy cars in it. And because I thought, well, we've got a lot to go through, we'll... Uh, We'll do it properly. So I'm going to lift the lid because the lid lifts off and it carries quite a lot of toy cars. We're going to review all the toy cars. This isn't going to work, is it? Well, there were only three in there. Okay. First three toy cars. Destroy the set. Yes. We've destroyed everything. This video is going really, really well. Incidentally, we will be covering one of these VHS cameras. Boop. First three toy cars. Goodbye, movies I'll never watch. We've got, uh, it's a Renault, it's a Renault 6, a Renault something or other, what is it, it's Corgi, it's a Renault 5 Turbo from Corgi, made in Great Britain, this one was brought as a car boot sale, missing a mirror unfortunately, but it's quite a nice toy car, and I've always quite liked the Renault Turbo because it just looks stupid, which is why I brought it. We've got that car from that there James Bond type thing, uh, it's got 007, if you don't know who 007 is, I pity you greatly, mmm. Uh, it's made by Lotus directly, like the actual Lotus logo. Who made it? Uh, let me put it up here. Tick, tick. Tick, 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 tock. It's a Lotus Esprit, but it's James Bond's underwater car. 
And if you've watched my airport review, you know exactly what this is. Um, these keep appearing, and whenever they appear, I buy them, even if they're buggered, which happens quite easily with these toy cars. This one isn't too bad. But yes, so, uh, International Airport, we all know what that is. Let's get the next cars out. And they're not all in here, incidentally. There we go. That's that one, that one, and this one. Hooray. We've got stuff that aren't in here as well, because I've got more toy cars than fit in here, but let's have a quick losey. So, let's pull these two up first, right? Very similar design, they've got the same design of wheels, one's a Jaguar and one's a Porsche. But this one is the uh, 1986 Porsche 959, yep. Whereas this one is a 1993, I believe it was, 1993 Jaguar. So even though... I didn't think they started using these particular wheels until the 90s, but apparently I'm wrong because they use them here as well. Quite nice toy cars. Uh, this was a very stable in the 90s. This does feel pretty cheap and nasty, though. This does feel a lot better, probably because it's just got a lot more plastic windows in it. Uh, but even so, over there, here's a Les... Is it Lesney? No, it's a Matchbox. Look, it's got an engine. It's got an engine, because engines are good. It's quite a small engine when you look at it. Uh, I wouldn't trust that to power a car this large, especially this sort of sportsy type vehicle. I'm sorry for the focus. Tell you what, let's... Uh, there we go, and now we're focused, so it should stay at this point consistently. It's a Datsun 125X, hate number 33, Lesney Productions. Oh, I quite like that. Um, I almost didn't buy this one. This one came from the charity shop. I almost didn't buy it, uh, but I did because it's nice. It also rolls really well. And this is the one I brought from a car week sale, which is probably my favourite one, just because it's... Just look at it. It's so typical. It even comes with the car. Free carpet, liner, from whatever... Very 80s house it's been rolling around in, probably Richard Homer's. Uh, it's a Matchbox, it's, uh, it's a Jaguar XJ6, and I can't make the date out on it, because my thumb's covering it. It's actually 1991, so it's a little bit later than I remember. I bought this a little while ago, to be fair. It also reminds me that I, um, I left something in the other room that I brought, so I'm going to go fetch that now. And now that I've completely wasted your time, let's get the third row of cars out of here. It's not the most elegant release system. Oh, that worked quite well. Oh, don't fall off. That's the one that's worth bally money. Right, let's pull that one, that one, that one. What was the fourth one? Um, oh, wait, no, there's four there. I am smirt. Let's start with this one. I might have done this one before because I didn't actually buy this recently. I found it in a box somewhere. I don't remember if I have covered it. It's one of the, um, the old Matchbox ones where they've just put a plastic black so they don't have to put the inside. You know, the cheap ones. It's a Super GT, I think. Um... It's been knocking around for a while. I quite like it. You know, I, I'm very fond of these ones that don't have interiors for some reason. It's knackered and somebody has painted it green. Hey, it's a nice car. Here's a car that when you look at it initially, looks like some kind of terrible knockoff. Like it shouldn't exist. Nope, it's a Hot Wheels from 1993. Which is interesting because just look at the wheel design. It's just not quite right. Like if we compare this Hot Wheels, which is also a Hot Wheels from 1998, this one is. Uh, this was a charity shop, this was a car we incidentally. Um, but da -da -da. I mean, this one is a lot more plasticky. It's got a plastic base, whereas this one has a metal base. And the wheels. This is the far more traditional Hot Wheels design. This is, uh, what the bally heck is that? The size is obviously different as well, because they're different toy cars. But what can you do? In the end, this is, a, this is just from 1993. It seems that most toy car companies made very weird cars in 1993. But then there's this from 1998, which is quite nice condition. Can't fault it. Not a huge fan myself, but I brought it because it was quite nice. What is it? It's a, uh... Oh. It is a cat a pult. It is a cat a pult. Also known as a strike decoy. Goodbye, catapult strike decoy. Now, here's the other one. You might... It's a bit blurred. You can't see it. But, uh... uh ba -ba 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 -ba, probably the most valuable one out of the entire lot. Yeah. Yeah, if, if, if you know your Matchbox stuff, it's like, oh, it's one of those. Where the hell did he find that? And what did he pay for it? I paid 50 pence for it. I mean, it's only worth about a tenner, to be fair, but it's still a tenner more than pretty much every other car that we're showing. Uh, nice little number plate. Mere thing. It's a Skoda, obviously. Was it an L30? I can never read it through the Bally screen. 1986. 
Uh, no, I just can't read it through the screen. It's terrible. And this got Skoda 130LR. There we go. It's a Skoda 130LR. It's actually quite a rare toy. Um, when they're in box, they're worth about 100 quid, which is quite nice. So to find this at 50 pence in the charity shop yesterday was very, very pleasing. And I'm going to probably hold on to it. If not, though, it doesn't really matter. We're still in the sort of mix at the moment. I think we're moving on to... Uh, uh, we're starting to move away from the car boot stuff towards the um, charity shop stuff. <laughs> That will never get old, even though it's gotten quite old. I also have to figure out what it is that came out, which is those ones. You guys go over here now, so it's, uh, yeah, you go over here so I can tell what comes out easier. Here are the next four. Ooh, now three of these from the car boot, and this one isn't. So we'll start with this one. White trim wheels. Missing a windscreen, still got its steering wheel. Open the lid. It's got an engine, a much more proportionally sized engine. Mmm, nice solid metal construction, no boot. We've got a Hot Wheels 65 Mustang convertible from 1983, is that? Yeah, 1983. Um, when I went in the charity shop yesterday, they had a lot of Hot Wheels toys from this era, so I brought them all, because of course I did. And here's one of them. It's quite nice, I wish I had its windscreen, because that would have genuinely been in quite nice condition. Uh, but obviously the windscreen's gone, so you can't do much about that. Very nice toy, though. We've got this, a Ford GT90, which is, let's be fair, it's pretty damn hideous. Uh, uh, I think this is also a Hot Wheels. Most of the toys we're going to be covering from this point are Hot Wheels. Uh, so I'm just going to make that way. 1997, Battelle Incorporated, Hot Wheels. It probably wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't so round and domed and red, but it does. I mean, I suppose it rolls well, it's not terrible. Uh, a Ferrari, I think this is a 396 Spider or something along those lines. It does have its windscreen, which is quite nice, and the logo. Um, not much to say on this one, really. F355 Spider, 1999. It's quite a nice toy, to be fair. You wouldn't go wrong with it. You know, it's uh, the sort of toy that was in circulation when I was in school. Never saw one, because of course I didn't. Uh, here's another Koi car. That carpet is getting everywhere. Uh, this one is very worn, unfortunately. Nice, interesting wheel design. Uh, pretty sure this is also Hot Wheels. Got its windscreen, that looks like it's been painted by some kid, but it probably hasn't. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba, 1982 Thailand, it's a Corvette. 1980s toy. 1990s toy. 1990s toy is in better condition than 1980s toy. Who would have thought? It's quite a nice toy, though. Nothing wrong with it. You know, it still rolls pretty well. It's just a bit worn and terrible. Um, I think we're getting to the bottom of what's in this box. So, how many more lines do we have? Ah, the last one. These are the last three that are coming out of here. And then we move on to just bringing stuff in by hand. Wee! I know, I said wee! I said wee! And not the Wii U. Is that completely empty? Yeah, just so you can see, it's it's the standard carry case as well. Uh, it's quite a nice little thing, it cost me three pounds. But it's empty now, and we have three more cars to go through. Guess what, they're all Hot Wheels. And um, one is a charity shop, two a charity shop, and one is the car boot sale. That being this one. Look at this. It's a Mexico, Mexico. I'm not going to be racist and say anything else. Very nice condition, actually, now I look at it. Uh, car. Number five, some kind of stock car racer. It's dirty, though. Like, it's dirty. I should probably clean it up. Somebody's been playing in the dirt with it at some point in this, Eglise. 1983. Is that 1983? Yes, 1983. Camaro. Yes, yeah, Camaro. 1983 Camaro with mud on the bottom. I quite like toys when they've been played with and used in mud. And that's actually still in very nice condition considering its thing. Car. Car. Dunlop. Now, uh, it's got a hood, but as you can see, it's not quite straight at this point. So it does open, but it's a bit knackered. Got an engine as well. They like putting engines in. I don't think they really do it anymore. Don't know what was meant to be on the top. Probably a spare tyre. That's gone. It's very warm. Its axles are rusted. It's nice though, I like this kind of car, and it's, uh, guess what, it's a Hot Wheels, and it's a 1978 Hot Wheels, the hair splitter. Now I'm quite pleased with this, if it's from 1978 with its condition, because yes, it's warm, but if you know me, you know that I like warm toys better than brand new condition ones, because I can do this, and not worry about it suddenly losing 300 million pounds from its value. But this is a bus, and we like buses. It's a shame about this axle. I want to see if I can fix that. Um, so this is going to go on the shelf of buses, facing that way, obviously. Yes, it's a Hot Wheels bus. It's the First City Gazette. Hmm, say something at the top. Get the news in the First City Select. 
Is this is this bonus propaganda towards first boss? How dare you? A reaver is obviously better. It's the Hot Wheels Rapid Transport Mattel 1981. I like this. This is the first toy uh, when I went in the charity shop yesterday that I saw. Uh, that isn't this one that I'm going to pull up next. Uh, that I was like, oh yeah, definitely buying that because it's a bus. It's going on the shelf of the bus, the shelf of buses. Um, this is not going on the shelf of buses, but it is still quite nice. Here you go. It's a toy car. It's still got its price label on. You can see I paid a whole pound for it. These videos end up being cheaper than buying blind boxes and I get better products. They're just not as popular. And my budget recently has been absolutely fegged. I've decided that fegged is now a word that replicates another word that we're not allowed to say without being demonetized. Not that it matters because I don't make any fucking money on YouTube. Oh darn, I said it. Anyway. Yeah, it's um, it's a Volvo. It's a nice old Volvo estate. These were really, really common back in the day. You know, my neighbor had one for years. It's got a boot that opens. You could uh, you could fit part of a bus in there. Can't fit the old bus in, but you could fit part of the bus in there. It's quite nice. It's thin wheels. Um, oh, what's that? Is that a very odd looking D underneath the Laura sticker? Yep, most of my toys come from Loris. Let's pull that off and reveal that this is indeed a bloody dinky toy, which I didn't expect. A Volvo 265 DL estate car made in Italy. You see, I knew that Dinky had moved um, their production out of the country at one point uh, to reduce costs because they were getting absolutely slaughtered everywhere by, you know, hot matchbox and hot wheels. Um, but I didn't realise they'd moved it to Italy or produce a line of car toys that are comparable to Corgi. Because when I picked this up, I initially thought it was a Corgi, but obviously it's not. It's quite a nice toy car. I actually quite like it. It's got no kind of suspension, steering, anything along those lines. Now, if you look in there, you, you can't really see it. But it's literally just thunk, 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 thunk to attach it in. But it, it's quite nice, you know. It actually rolls nice. I quite like it. It's not worth a huge amount, but it's not a bad toy, and it didn't cost me much. Neither did this one that's just gone by, and you've missed it. Quick, you might miss him if you don't see. Look, he's going really fast. Oh, he's, oh, just, oh I, I just, it just lost a load of value. Oh, well. It's an ambulance. I like ambulances. It looks a bit more like an ambulance that you find in a sort of third world country. Um, third world, that's a terrible expression, but you know what I mean. Uh, smaller, the boot lifts up rather than the doors opening. You could, it's got an interior, it's quite nice. Still got its blue light and nice condition. It's fairly good. It's a matchbox for certain. Um, 1987, I can make that out. Can't make the rest of it out though. It's a Volkswagen Transporter. So it's a Volkswagen Ambulance. Does that by association make it a Nazi ambulance? No, that is obviously the cheese affecting my mind. Damn you cheese, it's horrible. But that toy car is not. Uh, we are coming down to the last sort of bits and pieces uh, of the collection. So I'm just gonna separate what I brought in charity shops and what I brought at car boot sale. And we have one, two, three, four, five. Five for car boot sale and three for charity shop. So we'll go through two at the car boot sale. We'll get this one out of the way first. It's a Porsche. 928 in its box. Unfortunately, there's no leaflet enclosed because it has been opened when I brought it already. Uh, and there's nothing inside, which is a shame. Which uh, d it did annoy me a little bit because it was made up that it hadn't been opened. Although I suppose I should have guessed considering it's got a bloody elastic band keeping it shut. It's MB number 59, Super Kings, yes, Porsche. Now we've got one of these, you might remember it came out of an unboxing, it's absolutely knackered. So now I have both the completely knackered version and the pristine new in box pretty much version. And it's quite nice, um, yeah, I only paid a father for that. There was actually quite good pricing, uh, all things considered. <sighs> now, uh, I only brought it really because of his face. Look at his face, isn't it pretty? Well, you've got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the keys. So give me all your land, you bastard! I'm pretty sure that's how the song went. I could be entirely mistaken. But anyway, it's a Matchbox My First. Uh, the My First line obviously was Matchbox's attempt to give toys to very, very young children because you totally give this to a three-year-old instead of this because, let's be fair, they're both the same, just this one looks bloody stupid and this one doesn't. Uh, I, I don't like this line of toys very much, but this one is in, to be fair, remarkable condition. All its paintwork is there, the, the, the smiley dude is there on both sides. It's, 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 it's pretty nice, you know, and uh, yeah, you can, I know it's out of focus, but you can see that he's harvesting the souls of all of the children. 
All of the children's souls are being harvested by this singular man, and there's nothing that you can do about it, because the sooner I zoom it in, the better. Ha 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 ha. But if he stays out of focus, he can't eat your soul. And he won't focus anyway. Yeah, but that's quite nice. Um, to be fair, I'm actually selling uh, some toys that have come out of these blind boxes recently because I need money. Give me money. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I actually brought that one to put it in there to sweeten up the deal. But how about this dude? Dairy line, dairy line, cow, dairy line, dairy line, dairy line. Ben... Bent, bent knobs, don't know how. Wheels feel a bit loose on this one, but it's a lorry, it's a milk tanker. It's Peterbilt. I don't know what Peterbilt is. I still don't know what Peterbilt is. Somebody with intelligence who watches my videos, which is everybody when you compare them to me, tell me what Peterbilt is, please. 1981, Matchbox made in China. Yeah, that's quite a nice toy car. Lorry, bus, whatever. There are worse things out there. It can go over there, but not with it, not damaging that. It's actually worth money. Uh, now we'll go to a charity shop one now. We've got two Hot Wheels and a Matchbox. Let's do uh, the Hot Wheels that I don't like particularly much, but I brought anyway. I've never liked this kind of design of toy car where it's a sort of mad drags to look at this. This is totally realistically unrealistic and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'd much rather have like one of these and like five of these. But at the same time, it's another quite nice toy conditioned um, Hot Wheels. The axles are all in place. Its engine is there. The uh, sticker transfer is still there. The bubble dome isn't broken. This is the bubble gunner, incidentally, from Mattel, 1978. Mm. It's quite a nice toy. You know, I said, for someone who doesn't like this design of toy, it's all right. I couldn't fault it. It, um, it doesn't roll very well. It kind of zooms off to the side, but there's worse. Now, I brought this one. Obviously, it's a bit old and beaten. And, you know, it's obviously, it's not quite on brand. You know, it's not branded. Surprise! Yes, it is. It's branded Universal Product 1978. And that is the only reason that I brought it. Let's look at it. It's a NAF lorry, and it, it, it is NAF. I mean, it's fully die-cast, it's got things, but just look at the wheels, look at the axles. No trailer, unfortunately. I did look for it, but it wasn't there. So to find out that it wasn't just completely unbranded and did actually have a maker's mark on it, genuinely quite intrigued me. So intelligent people on my channel who watch, again, who the hell are Universal Products, and where can I buy more of them? Or at least see them so I can go, ah, mmm, lorry. Um... Right, let's do the that one with everything. Oh gosh, pretty much everything at the end of this video is a lorry now because this is a lorry, or rather, it's a box truck. Hertz van and truck rental. I brought this in the charity shop for 10 pence. Uh, it's got both its doors, but both its doors are kind of wedged inside, and I have been unable with my very fat fingers to wedge them the right way around. Bit beaten, bit bent. You know, it's it's uh, I've got one of these. Similar, you know, same lorry design, but obviously with a, with a different um, skin on it uh, in box on the shelf of bosses, which we're probably going to look at probably not next week, the week after, I'd assume, uh, because I would like to get uh, something else out there. It's all right, though. There's nothing wrong with it. It's uh, 1982. I can't read it. I can't read these bally black ones. They're, they're, they're just impossible for me to read. Uh, that's all right. Now, this one I brought uh, at a car boot sale. Mainly because it still had its trailer. Because let's be fair, when we get these blind boxes and so forth, and this hasn't come out of a blind box, how often do we actually get a lorry but no trailer? But in this case, we've got the trailer, which has carpet stuff stuck on it to indicate it's from a well-loved family, and the lorry itself. And ironically, probably the most worthless pair available from the entire line, the KFC lorry. Look at the colonel. He's fantastic. There's a gift going around of a literal chicken about to fight the colonel because furries are weird. Doors are still on there, still connects up quite nicely. The whole thing's there. All the axles are sorted. Um, I don't know if this is the Peterbilt. Oh, it's too shiny. Yeah, look at this whilst I look at this lorry. A Kenworth, 1981. And we appear to have articulated trailer, 1981. Mm, quite nice. Do like because lorry. And we're on to the last, the last toy, the last 24 minute extravaganza. Let's get on with this so you can go and do something productive with your lives, just like me. It's a Hot Wheels Airport Rescue Fire Department with two guns. 
which they can use to shoot protesters with water cannons. Ah, those protesters want to disrupt the government. Fire! Pew, 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 pew. And then all the protesters got blind from water. Thanks, Boris Johnson. You're a fucking twat. Oh, I brought politics into it. What a shame. Anyway, airport rescue department. Airport rescue department. Nice, heavy, chunky toy. Wheels. Hot Wheels. 1978, is that? It's 1979 in Hong Kong. Yeah. Quite nice. Got one axle that's bent, unfortunately. But uh, other than that... Oh, and there's a cannon missing its rear bit. Is that missing it? Yeah, it looks like it's been snapped off. But it's quite a nice heavy chunky toy. I can see why that would get played with a lot. And uh, I highly approve of these toys. And so, to draw the end of the video, we're not doing the, um, the trailer. Because there's a lot of toy cars that I want to put on. Because don't forget, I looked through and picked these out specifically. So they're all sort of my favourite, except for that one and that one. Because they're shit. Well, they are! But yeah, um, these are what I've been buying at charity shops and car boot sales recently. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting to see what terrible stuff I pick out in Great Britain. Um, the total cost of everything here probably wasn't more than about £15. Which is about 300,000 Canadian dollars and 17 euros. Yes, we don't talk about American dollars because... I like the lorry. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, if you like the content, you want to encourage me to make more stuff so you can waste your Wednesday afternoon. Because I do upload on Wednesdays thinking, why am I watching that weird ginger bloke who should be working, talking about toy cars? Um, I said I know toy cars and their unboxings are the biggest thing on my channel. I'm obviously still attempting to branch out a little bit and grab some other bits and pieces. Um, but, you know, just give me your opinion on how everything's going and what you want to see. And I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye, uh, folks. Don't set fire to yourself. He hasn't got any water left after the protesters.